What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Double Dribble. In today's episode, I want to talk about kind of a dark horse uh, for a, you know, one of the top lottery picks in this year's upcoming 2022 NBA draft. Um, he's one that has been rising up a lot of you know NBA mock drafts, and I've seen you know up pretty high in the lottery. And as someone that I know coming into the into his freshman year of college wasn't uh, projected to be this high of a of a lottery pick or high of a draft pick. Um, but he's doing that based on his play and, and you know the upside that he has in his game and I want to talk a little bit about that. But before we get in the video, I just want to quickly say if you're a fan of basketball, whether it be high school, college, or the NBA, you know, make sure to hit the subscribe button, join the conversation. We love interacting with you guys in the comments. So make sure you leave those all down below because we be sure to respond to every single comment. You know, make sure to hit the like button this video, share it with your friends, and let's get right into the video. So today's episode, I want to talk about Kendall Brown. Um, he's a freshman at Baylor. He's 6'8", 205 pound, kind of small forward uh, uh, player. He can play a lot of positions. Before we get into the year that he's having right now as freshman year at Baylor, I just want to talk a little bit, you know, how he's ranked coming out of high school and coming into the year at Baylor. Uh, so he's from Cottage Grove, Minnesota. Uh, he played at Sunrise Christian Academy and signed with Baylor. Um, in, the, in ESPN's Top 100, he's ranked 17th, uh, 92 overall five-star recruit he's second in the state fifth in the region and fourth at his position um, he had offers from pretty much all the top schools he had you know could go to the majority of any of the schools that he really wanted to uh, he could go to and he decided to sign with Baylor and you know so far that's working out so like I said he's a freshman he's 6'8 205 pounds uh, extremely athletic uh, extremely bouncy um, we'll get into more of that a little bit later but let's take a look at some of his numbers so, so far, uh, through 13 games, uh, he's started all 13 of those games. He's averaging 12.3 points per game, uh, 3.9 rebounds, 1.5 assists. Uh, he's shooting 69% from the field, 45.5% from three. However, he's only shooting 0 .8 uh, threes per game, shooting 70% from the free throw line. He's averaging 0.4 blocks and 1.2 steals per game. He's doing this while only playing 24 minutes a game. Um, Baylor is extremely deep, has a lot of talent, has a lot of guys that, that can really play and are extremely talented. Um, so as a freshman to even be starting, you know, that's extremely, extremely good for him and really, really shows the type of player that he is. Like I said, he's only getting 24 minutes, um, but, you know, a lot of scouts are noticing or realize that how deep of a team they are and that uh, that is the reason why he's only playing 24 minutes a game and not because he's, you know, not good enough or anything like that. It's just they're extremely deep. They love to rotate a lot of guys in, so they're always fresh, always uh, you know, able to go extremely hard on both sides of the floor. And Kendall Brown is exactly you know one of those you know, those type of players. So looking at him, like I said, coming out of high school, he wasn't projected to be a, a top lottery pick. Or I don't think really even a top ten uh, NBA draft pick coming out of high school or you know projected in this year's upcoming draft. And I just recently have seen some, you know, mock drafts. And I've seen him going as high as eight, you know, seven, eight range. Uh, people even said that if he continues up this play um, and shows what he can do on both ends of the floor, that he could possibly sneak into even a top five draft pick. Um, and I, like I said, I don't remember him even being talked about in this conversation or someone that would, you know, after his freshman year of college uh, be looked at to be, a, you know, a top 10, top five, you know, NBA draft pick. You know, the reason for this is a lot of it has to do with his potential. I mean, he is playing great. He's putting up good numbers uh, on an extremely, extremely good team. You know, looking like a favorite to win it all this year. Um, just playing extremely well, doing it all. But really, you know, it's a lot of potential um, and a lot of just what he is right now on the defensive side of things um, and just his athletic ability. So he's extremely athletic. I've seen people say that he's one of the best in-game dunkers in college right now. Uh, it seems like he's always dunking everything around the rim. Um, you know, crazy alley oops. He's just making a lot of you know big time dunks, big time plays at the rim. Uh, he's finishing you know majority of his drives. He's finishing them at the rim, finishing strong. Um, he can show a little finesse when he needs to, but you know really he just takes it strong to the hoop and is able to finish. You know, so that athletic ability on the offensive side is you know extremely extremely you know enticing for a lot of NBA teams but one of the things that right now is you know his ability on the defensive end he's a lockdown defender he can guard multiple positions he can switch out on guys guard bigger players he can guard smaller guards he's got you know really good you know, lateral quickness 
Um, and I think that's what's really, you know, you know, bringing him up in the in the mock drafts and you know, rate, uh, bringing up his NBA, you know, draft stock is his ability on the defensive side of the floor right now. I mean, he's he's pretty solid offensively. I think there's a lot of room for him to grow. Um, you know, working on a shot, being able to shoot, you know, more threes per game, but continue to make it at a, at a pretty good percentage. Like I said, he's shooting 45% from three right now, uh, but he only shoots 0.8 per game. Uh, so I think that you know, a lot of NBA teams know that they can you know work on a shot, get him to be able to shoot it. Um, more at the NBA level and and you know put up more shot attempts when he gets in the NBA uh, but really what's what's you know bringing his stock up is his his you know tenacity is his work ethic is everything on the defensive end I mean like I said he's a lockdown defender he can guard he can guard fours he can switch on the fives he can switch out on the you know guards and stay with them laterally um, you know their quickness he uses his length extremely well uh, he can jump passing lanes he get a lot of steals um, and just is really a really really good defender, you know, at the college level right now. And I think that, you know, matching that along with his athletic ability, um, his already you know pretty solid offensive game uh, with a lot of room to improve. I think that that is exactly why he's you know risen up the ranks and is projected, you know, by a lot of people to be a top 10 NBA draft pick. Um, you know, possibly like they said, if he keeps playing like this and Baylor keeps you know winning, uh, and, and they win a national championship, and he's a huge part of that. I think he could be a dark horse to, you know, rise up to be a, you know, a top five pick in, in this year's NBA draft. At, at his size, his athletic ability, um, the ability to play multiple positions, ability to guard multiple positions. Um, I think there's a lot of upside. There's a lot of potential in his game. Um, a lot of room for him to improve. And uh, I don't see why, you know, most NBA teams would not, you know, want to take a chance on him. And, you know, hopefully he develops and turns into a, a really good NBA player. So. You know, I just want to hear from all you guys in the comment section down below. You know, did you think that coming out of high school he would, you know, go up, you know, rise up this hard or this high in the in the you know mock drafts and you know be a possible top five NBA draft pick? You know, leave all those thoughts and comments in the you know the comment section down below. Uh, make sure to hit the like button this video, hit the subscribe button, share with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.